such a range of things to talk about. I want to start big picture, which is, of course, uh, we are not seeing 8 billion people on the planet progressing the way we need to. Uh, a global middle class is hollowing out. Um, uh, poverty is increasing. Do you think this is a new condition that people in the world have to get used to, that we're not going to be seeing inexorable progress going forward? Yeah, so is it our new normal to go backwards instead of forwards? Uh, no, I don't think it's inevitable at all, but we are in not the best place. And look, we were behind even before the pandemic, even before mm -hmm. war in Ukraine, and even before the last three additional years of climate impacts, which have been so punishing. So it's no secret that we have lost ground in those three years. Um, we've had poverty rising again, extreme poverty, which you just noticed, um, and so many other development indicators that have gone backwards rather than forwards. Um, you know, inequality is rising, too many indicators to count. But that doesn't mean it's inevitable at all. Um, so I think the real challenge for all of us is how do we get back on track? How do we regain lost ground? And how do we renew our uh, our commitment to, to creating a better world? And we have all of the means at our disposals to do that. We just have some politics that, uh, in my view, are interfering. When you say the politics are not cooperating, what, what, are your, what are the top things that you're talking about in that regard? No, I think it's politics, frankly, at every level. Uh, so first, it's the challenge of politics in countries, whether it's wealthy donor, donor countries or others who are you know, have turned inward more or less in the last few years. And that's led to, you know, de uh, depressed levels of overseas development assistance um, and, and other investments. We've seen, obviously, the war in Ukraine have a, a real uh, shaping effect on, on, on European donors. Um, but the larger question to my mind is whether we see collectively that we are, we are on one planet, we're in one world, we have uh, fates that are intertwined, and whether we have a commitment to do something about that with a kind of spirit of common humanity. We've lost ground on that front, and we see that here at home in the United States. We see it in other places around the world. But that, to me, is really the challenge of our times, to figure out and to re-galvanize re that spirit of, of we're in it together. We have more in common than we have that divides us. And we can't solve any problem on the global agenda that we see today without uh, intensified global cooperation. So that really is, to my mind, the, the challenge of our times. Think about climate change and what the future economy, a climate-friendly economy looks like. Part of the question is about time frame. Some of it's about how markets are structured. A lot of it's about the policy signals to get the capital that there is plenty of in the world directed at the right kinds of things. So that is a political problem. It's a policy challenge. It's one so far we're starting to solve, but insufficiently solving, and we just need to accelerate uh, our efforts to do that.